right. Tonight we are going to play with some Reshabor. It's a bit of an old deck. Uh, it's not that great anymore. Uh, Ability Embor is still an awesome Pokemon. But the, the four retreat cost really hurt it. And there's not a lot of stuff that came out in Emerging Powers or in Noble Victories that really helps it. I just have one card from Emerging Powers and one card from Noble Victories that's actually even in this deck. So my opponent whiffs here. I see some lightning. And I'm not really certain what I'm going up against. Possibly Durant. Which I wouldn't really be that opposed to. I've got a Tepig and a Pig Knight. And I'm going to leave my Reshram in my hand. Because I don't really want to catch her because Reshram sucks against Durant. And wait for the opening flip. And he chooses Tails. And he gets to go first, and it's Durant. So the strategy here is pretty simple. Uh, Pig Knight has Heat Crash, which does 50 damage. And we just put three energy on it and call it a day. And we'll see if we can't outlast this pesky ant. I've actually played this game a lot in real life. Um, one of my girlfriend's kids loves Durant, so it's a matchup I'm pretty used to. He also plays with Weavile, so I'm also used to that. So, not too concerned about the matchup. It's really going to depend on if I can get three energy on my Pig Knight in three turns. And that is pretty much what it's going to boil down to here. So, he's already used a supporter this turn. I wouldn't use the Poke Gear here. I would wait and get uh, my draw on my next turn. And then use the Poke Gear, but... Uh, Probably doesn't matter, but just, I guess, a tip for everybody else is just hang on to that, draw, and then do it. So, we will, eh, there's nothing we can do here, no energy, no draw, not going to lay down any more Pokemon, he's not going to knock me out, could use a catcher, but no real need to. It's probably going to have the second energy with that Juniper that he grabbed. Nah, he already had it in his hand, so. My opponent is opting to deck himself out faster than he decks me out, but. Uh... Alrighty, so now we've got the full four Durants, and now we are really on a clock here. I need an energy and an oak. So there comes the fourth Durant, and uh, he's ready to go. So he hits two of my energy, and I managed to get one. Tipic does have Flame Charge, which will be handy. So clap that on, end my turn, and... Claw Snag doesn't really bug me. That bothers me. And at this point, I'm starting to become a little more concerned. So I'm going to have to heat charge again. I think at this point, I may go ahead and waste a catcher for a Durant without energy on it. I should just thin the deck to try and... So, Tipig, Resh, Resh. Hopefully draw into energy on my next turn. And we'll just flame charge again. 
So, 27 cards, and I don't think I can win anymore. Um, five turns of Durant is uh, all that's going to take to get through my deck here. I guess I could start knocking him out and hoping for the best. So he's going to go for the Crushing Hammer again. And... I don't really know. Looks like he undid his whatever he was doing and that's what creates that card to get stuck there. So let's see if he, if he plays a switch. I guess he did not have the energy. Well that's sort of a relief. Now he's gonna go for the crushing hammer. Pokemon Communicate, I'm surprised again. So he can definitely just have fun uh, claw snagging my hand. I don't really care. There's nothing in my hand that uh, is useful, which is why I haven't been playing cards. So he'll get his claw snag. We'll see what he takes. Should probably take the plus power, I guess, if I was him. And even that doesn't matter because Eviolite doesn't work. Yeah. Let's see what he snags. So, collector. <laughs> Weird choice, but it is what it is. So, he actually has less cards than me. It's a lot of Juniper. Ah, oh, and a second head, so this game is probably over at this point. I do run Energy Retrieval and Fisherman, so uh, that could definitely be helpful to help keep my hand large, because I will be able to oak my somewhat large hand back into my deck, but without being able to attack, it's not much I can do. Attach, flame charge. Let's see if he's. There's one fisherman, two, three fishermen. Energy retrieval and super rat are all gone, so. Yep. The correct move. Remove energy from play. And he finally gets a Tails, which is freaking awesome. Still think it's too late. He has wasted a lot of Junk Arm, so he's not really going to be able to Dual Ball. Could be hanging on to some Revives. I don't really know. But this was a pretty... Oh, I guess I don't know what's in my own deck. So I think there's one Fire left in my deck. I could be wrong. And, man, I think I've messed with this deck since I've last used it. So we're going to go for an energy attachment. And finally, take out a Durant. So we only have to do this five more times. With three and a half more turns to go. I guess three more turns to go, really. The Fisherman's going to be super helpful. Because I'll be able to put my hand back up a little bit. So there's the revive. Let's see how many junk arms he's used this game. So one, two, three, and possibly, I don't really know what these are. So there goes another fire. I'm just gonna fisherman. Hello. And 
can survive one more crushing hammer, so I'm just gonna let it be. So down goes another Durant. 13 cards in my deck. So let's see if he can miss on a revive. And, <laughs> man, can't catch a break. He is running low though, so uh, we're just gonna oak. Put all that wonderful stuff back into my deck. Kind of wishing I had an in. So that puts us up to 13. And we are in good shape here. Depending on what he draws and what that last card is. So it, he does not promote a Durant. We only have one energy in play. And this is kind of the, what we needed here. Alrighty, I don't know how I'm going to take that out. Ooh, I wish I had a Pokecom. Then I could get Bad Boar out of the way here. Let's take a peek. I'm not going to Sage, it's too risky. So we'll go ahead and uh, do what he probably doesn't want. So we'll Fisherman again. So we still have Heat Crash as a move here. And it only requires one fire, so that's not that bad. we go. <laughs> the Embor I would have preferred. It would have been 80 damage. Would have been absolutely perfect. So his hand still isn't great. How many hit points does our friend here have? 60. Can't knock it out with a heat crash. But hey, we can junk arm. Catcher, and that's what we're gonna do. So, yeah, just for grins, we'll get rid of the sages. So, Pokemon Catcher. Take out his only Durant with energy. Use my manual attachment. Hopefully. And heat crash for the knockout. And we only need one more prize. And quite frankly, I can do 150 damage on my last turn, so. We'll see what he does here. An N. Yeah, I don't, don't see the point of this. What he really needs is the Super Rod and then the Collector. So yeah, not... Uh, must be something in his prizes that he really desperately needs. Lost Remover, Junk Arm, something. Might have a Sharon in his hand, and that's going to be game. So it was scary there for a long time. I think he was a little too Juniper happy, lost a lot of resources, and wasn't able to get back to the four Durant mill. Yeah, and I'm not going to be able to see how many cards were left. It wasn't many. And uh, that's actually a fun match. Durant gets a lot of crap, but uh, it's a fun deck to play. And it's a fun deck to play against. So that's how you beat Durant.
680 damage. And uh, go Embor.